Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Heroic Mode Sun Raider Ferrix uh, boss tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be giving you a deck and a guide on how to beat this guy. Now, before you go to the comments after you watch this video and say that I made a bunch of misplays and mistakes, yeah, I know, I know, I was like really tired when I did this, and yo, know, don't believe me, okay? That's all I ask. Um, you can see the cards on the right hand side. Again, I'll say remember to switch to a wild deck um, when putting those cards in your deck because some of them are uh, wild only. For example, Death Lord is uh, it's a wild only card. Um, Dark Cultist is uh, only available in wild. So make sure to switch to wild. You're gonna be wanna you're gonna wanna mulligan for um, Shadow Word Pain as well as um, low cost cards as well as uh, probably a Silence card. Um, the only differences in this boss is, is that um, he starts with a little bit more health, as well as um, his uh, rod is uh, a 3-8 instead of a 0-5, and uh, it only makes him immune, does not make you immune. Also, he has some spells uh, that'll deal damage, which uh, make it harder for you to just put up a taunt and, um, and defend. Um, so, now the, the optimal way to do this is to... Um, try to silence it you can either kill it and then silence it or silence it uh, and then kill it it actually uh, doesn't matter if it's silenced when it's on uh, your side of the board or if it is uh, just silenced on his side of the board and then killed both uh, will act in the same way um, after you kill it then what you want to do is um, you want to essentially um, get like you know some death lords up as well as you know maybe a um a light of the naru and then just you know get some big healing in and um and yeah so even after you silence it since it's his hero power that makes him immune not the actual card um you have to silence it and kill it you can't just silence it so as you see here um i silenced it but it's his hero power that's making him immune uh, not the actual card itself so um, you have to, you still have to kill it in order to damage him, um, not just silence it. Um, if you can see on the right hand side, I'm going to read the cards off. This is actually the same deck. I think I might have said this already. This is the same deck that we used for the normal mode. Um, Circle of Healing, Silence, Light of the Naru, Northshire Cleric, uh, Power Word Shield, Acidic Swamp, Who's Divine Spirit, Light Well, Shadow Word Pain, Dark Cultist, Death Lord, Shadow Word Death, Valens Chosen, Master Spell, and Holy Fire. Um, Acidic Swamp Boost is really good here. He will never attack a Taunt minion, um, unless he can kill it fully. So he won't attack it and leave it at one health. He'll only attack it if he can, uh, kill it fully. So, um, as you can see here, this might not have been the, the best play, um, what I did, but I just wanted to draw a lot of cards. I end up actually beating, um, Sun Raider Ferrix in Fatigue. Um, that's actually, uh, how I beat him. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, maybe this was, a, uh, you know, not the best play, but that doesn't matter. It's, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we all make mistakes, okay? All right, I'm gonna, uh, just going to explain, uh, what I do and why I'm doing it, uh, for this. Essentially, I killed the rod because I wanted to start dealing damage to his face. I did miss one damage here. I could have attacked my, um, my, my one, three, um, Northshire Cleric into his face. Uh, but for some reason, I didn't do that. I don't actually know why. I think I just forgot about it because I was so tired. Um, but I did draw uh, this here and um, played that. Got my Light of the Naru. That's important for uh, damage. Um, and I decided that I was going to silence the 7-7, turn it into a 0-5. Now, uh, while you can do that, he actually does have some minions that... Uh, uh, give other minions taunt so having giving him a zero five he has taunts and buffs is um not exactly the best strategy um but it is you know better than taking seven damage so um here what i did is uh, obviously obvious play you know if i can take care of a weapon i'm going to do it and then silence his uh, his two five and uh, yeah so i use my letter the naru here because uh want to get that off and uh, start dealing some damage to the board or to his face really um, he plays a fire guard destroyer uh, and then a mounted raptor and then he plays looming presence at this point he has a lot of armor um, he started with uh, 45 and now he has uh, 55 so he's almost twice as much armor as, uh, as he should have um, so what I do here is I kind of just decide okay I want to get that my um, 
Uh, light of the Naru. I want to deal some damage to his face, so I'm just going to, um... I'm going to do that and then deal the damage to his face, but... Like an idiot, I, you can see my mouse moving around there. I forgot to do that one too. And then he flames tricks. Um, yeah, I I was like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to attack this into his face. And then it's like, uh, oh shit, wait, I forgot to actually attack it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of an important thing. Um, I did draw Divine Spirit, and this guy already has a ton of health, so decide to uh, to double his health up to 24. Um, he plays that, and I have another Swamp Ooze. As I said before, he'll never attack into it unless he can fully kill it. So he does not attack into it. And um, and then I was trying to do the calculation here on whether or not uh, playing Light of the Naru uh, would actually heal him. But I decided, you know what, I'll take the guaranteed heal and just attack it into the other guy. And, uh, and get my second um, heal guy, whatever he's called. <laughs> I don't know his name. Or her name, I suppose. Um, we're both on very low cards at this point. Um, I am a little bit behind, but I do have a lot of healing cards. So, even though I'm a little bit behind, I'm still um, doing quite well in the grand scheme of things. Uh, this time, I actually do remember to attack with my my uh, Light Warden. That's what it's called. Now I remembered. Uh, yeah, I do actually remember to attack with it this time. So, um, just get lots of health off on it. Uh, North Shire Cleric here is a risky play because I know I'm going to draw two cards and I only have one card left at this point, but I decide uh, I'm going to play it only because um, I want to be able to uh, attack into his 5-5 five five because uh, I know for sure that um, he's going to attack that into my 2 uh, attack minion. So, I want to be able to attack that into uh, his 5-1 at this point. Uh, and be able to kill it and now um, No more cards left, but I do have six guaranteed healing uh, every turn. So of course uh, I am essentially not going to start taking fatigue until turn at six um, He's about to run out of cards soon, too I'm gonna actually speed up this part because it's pretty clear what happens um, after he draws his last card uh, but yeah, so I don't start taking fatigue essentially until turn six um, and as I said before, he never attacks with his weapon um, unless he can fully kill your minion. Um, even if he did attack with his weapon, though, he wouldn't do anything um, because he's just dealing four more damage to himself, meaning I kill him just a little bit quicker. So, yep, as you can see, I'm still, you know, not taking much damage. And then eventually, uh, after enough time, he takes... Uh, six damage from his fatigue and he dies so this isn't really the optimal way to kill him uh, but it is a way that worked um so there you have it this is how to kill uh sun raider ferrix in heroic mode if you guys did enjoy this uh, and you want to see more uh solo adventure tutorials like this one make sure to click on the annotation on screen now and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye